Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Broadcom's earnings dip sparks buying interest, while non-farm payrolls grow but miss expectations. Advi announces a $1.55 dividend, and Senator Elizabeth Warren supports a DOJ antitrust probe into NVIDIA. A former GameStop trader becomes JetBlue's third largest shareholder, and Lulielman's CEO boosts his stake by 4K shares. Bitcoin faces a weekly decline amid risk-off sentiment as Coinbase endures its ninth consecutive losing session. Stay tuned after the short ad break to learn more about these headlines. Broadcom shares dropped 7% in pre-market trading following its earnings report. Analysts view this as a buying opportunity despite lighter-than-expected guidance. Jefferies, Bank of America, City Research, and Morgan Stanley maintain positive ratings due to AI growth and the VMware acquisition. However, Seeking Alpha remains cautious about declines in the legacy business. U.S. non-farm payrolls increased by 142,000 in August, up from July's revised 89,000 but below the 160,000 consensus. The unemployment rate dropped to 4.2 percent. Average hourly earnings rose by 0.4 percent. Construction and healthcare saw job gains, while manufacturing lost jobs. Traders now expect a higher chance of a Federal Reserve rate cut on September 18th. Advi announced a $1.55 per share quarterly dividend, maintaining its previous rate, offering a forward yield of 3.19%. The dividend is payable on November 15th to shareholders recorded by October 15th, with an ex-dividend date of October 15th. Advi also reports promising developments in inflammatory bowel disease treatments and European approval for Tepkinley in follicular lymphoma. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren supports the Justice Department's investigation into NVIDIA, concerned about potential antitrust violations. She urges regulators to act against NVIDIA's dominance in the semiconductor market, warning of economic risks. Despite reports, NVIDIA claims it hasn't received a subpoena and asserts its success is merit-based. Shares dipped 0.18% pre-market Friday but are up 123% year-to-date. Vladimir Galkin disclosed in a Securities and Exchange Commission filing that he holds a 10% active stake in JetBlue Airways. Now the airline's third-largest investor, Galkin plans to discuss board representation with JetBlue's management. Shares of JetBlue rose 1.67% in pre-market trading to $5.48. Lululemon Athletica CEO Calvin McDonald purchased 4,000 shares at $260 each totaling $1.4 million. His stake now stands at around 90,000 directly owned shares. Lululemon's stock is slightly up today after a three-day decline. Bitcoin is expected to drop 9% this week, reaching $57,000 due to a risk-off mood. September's volatility affected both crypto and U.S. equities. The cryptocurrency faces pressure from global recession fears and ETF outflows. Short-term holders are struggling, but long-term investors remain profitable. Coinbase Global stock fell 7.7% on Friday, marking nine consecutive sessions of losses. The cryptocurrency exchange has dropped 21.7% in the past eight sessions and is down 6.1% this year, while the S&P 500 index rose 15.4%. Regulatory pressures from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission have led analysts to be bearish on Coinbase, with Seeking Alpha rating it a sell at 2.45 out of 5. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead. Join us next time for more insights and updates. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow, stay safe and farewell for now. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.